What's up guys? Adam Elston here with Straight Yak coming to you from my garage right now. Uh, but welcome back to the channel here on Straight Yak, guys. Uh, when you see this sort of background, uh, a lot of the times that means that uh, I didn't do an intro while I was out fishing or on some sort of, you know, I don't know, trip or tournament. But guys, uh, today I want to talk to you about uh, my fifth place finish at the River's Edge Canoe and Kayak or I should say the River's Edge Steel City Classic. Now we did it last year, we took second place, but this year a little bit tougher conditions. Uh, we took, ended up in fifth place, but still had a great time. And it was my first time fishing slash dragging the Bonafide RS-117. Um, so anyways, guys, uh, yeah, this was a really interesting tournament because it was a super shallow water bass fishing tournament. Uh, at the same time, uh, it was pretty tight all across the board because, man, it was really tough to find some kicker fish. But, you know, you did find some. The important thing about this video is to realize that, you know, no matter what conditions you're dealing with, as long as you go out there, you find a limit first, and then you start working to call up, you know, things can really happen for you. But beyond that, guys, we're going to just kind of jump into this video. You guys are going to see uh, how I did, and then at the end, we'll talk a little bit more. But with that being said, guys, uh, what? Real quick though, make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button down below. You can't forget about that guy. Uh, but with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into my fifth place finish at the River's Edge Steel City Classic here on Straight Yacked. My name is Adam Milstead, and I'm a former USC fighter turned extreme kayak angler. I travel around the country fishing fast tournaments out of kayaks. So if you like kayaking, and you like fishing, then welcome to Straight Yak.
don't think he's going to go. I saw a spin out of the water. Damn. We got a 16 and 3 quarter here, guys. Alright, 16 and 3 quarter.
Okay. We would have had a one almost, but it's a better one. That's a better one right there. Alright. Easy. I got a 14. Let's just check it. Okay. Crazy. This is some crazy fish in here. Probably a good one. You guys gotta eat something else, man. Let's just try another obnoxious old purple worm, baby. Let's go. Come on back, baby. fish fish that's a 
1425. Good one. That's what I'm talking about, guys. All right, fourteen seventy-five. Fourteen seventy-five. That's a better one. Oh, I got, I got like six packs. Oh, that, that's the that's the color here for some reason. That, that's what I did well on last year. Here. That was refreshing. It's almost more dangerous to be tethered to the kayak. Yes. make one more cast this to call it a day all right guys that's the end of tournament all right guys that was it and uh I, boy, I gotta tell you guys, right off the bat, obviously you guys saw the conditions that I was dealing with. Uh, number one, it was getting pretty hot out uh, <laughs> at the same time. I mean, basically, I had about a seven and a half mile float. Probably five and a half miles of that I actually walked. So, or ran at some points because near the end I was really trying to hustle to get to another hole. Um, that was just an interesting way to fish. I mean, when you're dragging a kayak everywhere and uh, you know, you got to be sort of stealthy in some scenarios where you know you're, you, you see bass working in this little rock pile and they, they could be landlocked at that particular moment, but you got to make sure that they eat. And so, man, you got to kind of get down you got to slow down you got to make sure the kayak doesn't get ahead of you and then being able to go ahead and try to get that fish and of course I lost a couple really nice fish that way um, just because it's just one of those scenarios where you're dealing with a very rocky environment uh, there's a lot of structure uh, those bass sometimes they just kind of just nip at things 
Um, and uh, you saw that at the beginning when I was utilizing the net. The net was working and I was able to pull in quite a bit of fish with it, but um, there's a combination that I'm not getting right with my Ned rig, okay? I'm either A, not using a stiff enough rod, not being able to set the hook and get a peg. B, I'm probably utilizing a hook that probably wasn't very sharp. Uh, C, maybe a leader that's a little bit long and I've got too much stretch on it, or just simply all the above, but I don't know. I gotta figure out my Ned setup. So that's why I switched over eventually to the Wacky Rig Worm. It's what I used last year um, on that same body of water. And I can tell you right off the bat that a Wacky Worm is going to have a higher hookup percentage versus a Ned Rig. So if you are finding them on a Ned Rig, there's probably a good chance that you'll find them still hitting a Wacky Rig, especially in the summertime. So um, really a interesting tournament, had a lot of fun. Uh, again, I, I apologize for not really doing a lot of video out in the field, doing like uh, B-roll and, and getting shots of the, um, the actual uh, dinner afterwards that we had in the award ceremony and the funny thing is I, I took fifth place but uh, because there was only 48 guys instead of 50 guys uh, <laughs> I was the first one out of the money so that seems to be a, a big thing for me this year just one place out of the money you know and uh, chalk it up to the guys who took uh, you know the top four above me they really worked hard and they did everything they could to uh, you know, walk away with a check. So, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe next year. Maybe next year we'll get them. Hopefully they have it again next year. But anyways, guys, that is it. That is the Steel City Classic uh, 2024 for the River's Edge Canoe and Kayak Shop. And for those of you who um, haven't watched the other video, um, I do have another video. I linked it earlier in a video, uh, in this video. Um, you know, I ended up taking second place last year, but that was what I was assuming would be the last River's Edge Steel City Classic because, uh, again, what I was talking about in that particular video, um, the owners of the River's Edge Canoe and Kayak Shop are planning on selling. They want to sell their business. They just haven't find, found a potential buyer quite yet. Uh, They're still working on it. Uh, but again, if this ends up being the last one, it was a memorable one and a fun one to fish. And again, I love you, Neil and Evelyn, uh, the River's Edge Canoe and Kayak shop owners uh, you were the first ones to believe in me and support me in this crazy lifestyle and so thank you again uh, hopefully you do have it again next year um, but uh, I understand if you don't anyways guys that is pretty much it uh, I'm gonna go ahead and sign off here I appreciate you guys uh, liking subscribing commenting down below I mean I try to get back to everybody and I try to comment right back to you guys so you understand that I want to be engaging on this channel. I want I want you guys to ask questions. I want you to ask me what I was using, uh, what type of line, rod, you know, you know, different things with kayak setups and stuff like that. Please, because that interests me. I love to help people. Um, so please comment down below and let me know if that's uh, you know something that you guys are wanting to do a little bit more on the channel and hey if you guys got some suggestions in the near future for videos even if it's just like how to um, kayak setups whatever let me know all right so all right I talked long enough guys uh, thank you again for liking and subscribing to the straight yak channel hopefully you guys get out on the water get yak thanks for watching straight yak